A heartfelt reunion is expected in Hampton Roads this week as thousands of sailors return home. Mm -hmm. After seven long months away, more than 6,000 sailors with the Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group come home tomorrow and Friday. Ten on your side, Deanna LeBlanc is here now with more on who's coming home and what they accomplished while at sea. Anita and Tom, after missing so many milestones and holidays, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, to name a few, and of course, football season. They'll be able to cap off 2016 at home in Hampton Roads after a very successful seven months at sea. June 1st, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group left Hampton Roads and headed toward the Arabian Sea. The ships worked supporting Operation Inherent Resolve. Early on in deployment, the Navy says the USS Nitsa was harassed by Iranian fishing vessels. Then at one point in October, say the USS Mason may have been fired at by rebels as well. The USS Nitsa fired back, missiles destroying three target sites. On board the Ike, Carrier Air Wing 3, made up of planes, jets, and helicopters from Hampton Roads and the West Coast. In total, the Air Wing completed over 12,000 flights, 1,900 of them combat missions. 1,200 involved dropping bombs, in total, more than 1.3 million pounds of them. The sailors, pilots, and aircrewmen missed out on much at home, celebrating the holidays at sea, as seen in these photos on the Ike's official Facebook page. But they'll all be home in time to ring in 2017 with the one they love. And the Ike Carrier Strike Group was the first to deploy under the Navy's new plan to limit deployments to seven months. It deployed June 1st and will return December 30th, so it meets that goal. Now, you may remember the USS Harry S. Truman, which the Ike replaced at sea, had its deployment extended to eight months. Of course, count on us to be at all the homecomings tomorrow and Friday. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.